Yo, what is going on guys? Prevised here. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoy this tutorial, please drop a like and subscribe. Alright, so I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create a game uh, to where whenever you eat something, like off the ground, like say there, there's this, um, this food on the ground. If you click on it, you know, to eat it, you're going to grow. Um, you're gonna get fatter, basically. Um, that that's actually a request that someone had commented on commented on a video. So yeah, so if you're watching this, no problem, man. I I got you, dude. And I've seen a bunch of other requests. Now I can't get to all of this right of right away, you know. So it's gonna take time. And yeah, some of them, of course, I can't do. But yeah. So, first off, what you want to do is go to develop, my creations or group creations, it doesn't matter, and go to games, and find your game, click right here, configure game, and then avatar type options, morph to R15, and save. This, one, this doesn't matter, either player choice or standard. So once you hit save, then I'll just hit cancel. Go back to studio, and your game should um, be R15 compatible. Um, so, like, um, what I mean is, whenever any whenever any player joins, they're gonna their rig's gonna be R15. So, now what we need to do is make a food item. So, let's uh, let's just have. Let's just make and let's like let's I'll oh, freak. Um just gonna make a very, very simple apple. It's gonna it's gonna look very ugly, but you know it's uh yeah. Let's just go like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even gonna take studs off. Alright. So I'm just I I want this model to have more than two parts so um you guys don't get too confused cuz I'm going to walk you through. All right, so it's a tomato or apple, whatever. <laughs> All right. So you're you're going to have your model, you're going to want to group it, control G. So you have your model. Then once you have your model, insert a part. Ooh, what was that? It just had a high pitched thing. Um what the freak. All right, so you're going to take this part, you're going to want to make sure your part is all over this this model so yeah this is the part that you're going to be clicking okay change the transparency of that part to one so we don't see it name the name the part main okay then you're going to select all this control g so we have it as one big model i'm going to name it apple it doesn't really look like an apple uh but yeah so we have apple and then main. Okay, inside of main, right click, insert object, uh, find a click detector. Click detector, click detector, where are you? Click detector. I'm going to name this CD. I'm going to change the max activation distance to 10. That's how many studs away you have to be to be able to click on it. Inside of main, we're going to insert a script. Actually, let's just put the script inside the click detector. So, script.parent. Whoops, I'm going to zoom in. So, script.parent is referencing the click detector. So, script.parent. And then a click detector has an event called mouse click. Then we're going to make a function. Whoops. Connect function. Holds the parameter of the player. Uh... Okay, now we're gonna do local character. So we're gonna get the character of the player. So character dot. So player dot character. And yeah, and yeah, that's that's it. Okay, so now we got the character. So let's let's see how this is set up. Cause I know a lot of you guys are probably be like, oh, how are you gonna make the character fatter? So inside our character model, if we go into humanoid body depth scale is what we're going to be looking at um so if i were to change this to 
so it's at one so if I do 1.1 1 .1, as you can see I got fatter if I do two look how fat I am okay you could also do this with like your head you could change your head scale like you know um body width scale you know you could do it like that but what we're gonna mess with is just the body we're gonna mess with the body depth and body width so whenever we click on so okay so it's saying whenever we click on it we're gonna get the character then we need to we need to do we need to make the character you know get bigger so um so we're gonna let's make a variable for the humanoid local humanoid equals character find first child humanoid okay then if humanoid so it's saying is it what it's saying is if the humanoid is there then this code's gonna run so now we can go inside the humanoid so we're gonna do make a variable local body depth scale equals humanoid wait no no it should be there already so we're gonna do find first ch child body depth scale it was called then there was also local body so the depth and there was width scale equals copy that width okay so now we're going to check if BDS and and BWS then so if there's both of them then we can run this code inside here so we're going to change the value of BDS so value dot BDS dot value equals so we're going to take the value of that we're going to equal it to itself but then we're going to add 0 0.05 now this value can be changed is just like so whenever you click on the the apple or whatever food you have this is how much you're going to grow we're, I'm going to show you um, then also you want to change the the BWS so copy this BWS BWS whoops just like that okay and now now let's hit play and see what happens boom as you can see I'm growing every time I click now that's why you mess with the the point you know the point zero five thing um, now, if you don't want it to grow within the width, just take B W S out. Like, take this line out, take this line out, and take this out, and let's see what happens. As you can see, I'm growing. I'm only growing in the depth, not the width anymore. So it's really your choice. I mean, you you pick for yourself. But yeah. So, and you can you know, you can make this lower like if you want to if you want it to take more clicks to grow, like to grow slower, then you know you change it to a lower number. As you can see, I'm not growing as fast. And what if you want the apple, the whole model to get destroyed, you know, of course because you're eating it then you would do so you would find your model so as you can see Apple this is the model that's holding everything dealing with that so I'm in the script so we're gonna access the script so we're in script okay we're referencing the script then we do dot parent as you can see it's like a hierarchy you got this then you got this then you got this so script dot parent now the dot parent is the CD then we do dot parent which is now main do dot parent which is now the apple and we do destroy okay so it's gonna destroy apple okay so we're gonna hit play and boom there we go
gets destroyed. Now, I mean, I would make sure, you know, you anchor. You'd probably want to anchor you, your model. But, yeah. That's basically it. That's the very basics of how this works. Um, yeah. Now, let's let's just... Let's add more to it. I know we're, we reached 10 minutes, but let's just say you want it to, before it gets destroyed, let's say you want it to take two clicks for it to get destroyed. Like, so you would take maybe like two bytes, you know? So local times clicked equals zero. So at the very beginning, you're gonna click zero times. Um. So once you once you grow, we want to change time click equals this plus one. Then at at the bottom we're gonna do if times clicked is equal to two, then we're gonna destroy it. Okay. Um so let's see what this does. So we should be able to click it two times. One, two, and why is my mouse why does my mouse look like this I think it's a Roblox problem cuz I, I don't know why my mouse looks like this but yeah that's uh, basically it really yeah 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 boom boom yes well I hope you guys enjoyed and yep peace out